Welcome back. As if traffic isn't bad enough in downtown Austin, especially during a big weekend like the Republic of Texas biker rally, a sinkhole on Cesar Chavez very near I-35 is causing even more headaches today. Our Omar Lewis is on the scene with how the hole was discovered and its impact on traffic, Omar. Hey, Brian, it was actually a biker that was on his morning ride that discovered a small hole in the middle of the street. Now, when he called authorities, they came out, came out and noticed that underneath the ground, the asphalt has started to cave in, forming a sinkhole as large as 15 feet in some spots. You can see crews are now drilling away, working to the repair this sinkhole and stop it from growing any larger. Police say it's going to be a long day, though. They're telling us that the roads will be closed off. Cesar Chavez will be closed off from Red River all the way to I-35 Frontage Road. For the rest of the day, they're trying to open up the eastbound lane right now, but that is still underway as investigators are now trying to determine exactly what caused the foundation to shift and the asphalt to cave in the ground. Crews are looking at several possible causes right now, like if this sinkhole was created by geological chasms or if a possible man-made water leak is to blame. Either way, they say whatever caused this, they don't want to take any chances by having anyone in this area. Currently underneath, it's probably... 10 to 12 feet deep underneath and there's nothing there. So when the road goes, whatever's on top of it's going to go along with it. And Brian, the latest update we received from APD is that they are still working to open up this road here, at least the eastbound lane of Cesar Chavez. But the westbound lane looks like it's going to be closed for quite some time, and that can cause a lot of headaches tonight, especially for people looking to go out or attend a lot of events that are going on down here. They say crews could be working well into the night. For now, we're live downtown Omar Lewis, KXAN News.